inside look into a program that's giving second chances to convicted felons. It helps people with substance abuse problems who are facing drug charges in either El Paso or Teller counties. The goal, keep them from going back to prison and get them into recovery instead. Today, eight people became graduates of that two-year-long program. News 5's Maggie Bryan spoke with one of the graduates today about his journey from darkness to light. For over two years, participants in the 4th Judicial District's Recovery Court program have been hitting many milestones in hopes of turning their life around. For many of them, it was either prison or getting help. Now today, eight of those participants, all on their own journey to addiction recovery, are getting a second chance at life thanks to this extensive program. All we need is a chance. Gene Edwards says he was running out of options. After serving a total of 12 years in prison and struggling with drug addiction. I overcame a lot of obstacles being homeless at a young age and being on my own since seven years old. He says in 2019, he was facing his third strike in the court system. The court was like, hey, three, three time loser. You're about to go do 50, 60 years. And I just was like, Lord, what do I do? What do I do? That is when he found the Court Recovery Program. It's a two-year intervention program for those facing drug-related felonies to help them back on their feet and find their independence. I went through this same program. I actually, um, I was incarcerated. I was in the Department of Corrections. Dan Hugel is one of its many success stories. He completed the program in 2018 after battling a meth addiction and alcohol abuse. And I started to think like, do I want to just keep living my life like this? I was willing to do anything at that point. He now works for the Peaks Recovery Center in Colorado Springs, helping others who feel lost with no way forward. I have a family now. I have all this fun stuff. I get to go help people. I get to help save lives. I love it. Today, Edwards, along with seven others, became graduates of the program. I'm just so humbly grateful. He says it has given him a newfound relationship with his children and grandchild. They don't have to go through the life that I went through. You know, they don't have to go to prison for all these years. They don't have to if they start now and do the right things. Through all of it, Edwards says he's been able to keep his landscaping business and hires other people released from prison. All we need is a chance, you know, but it seems like we don't, the chances are, are, are stricken, like we don't get chances anymore. Now two years sober, he and seven others are turning a new chapter in their lives. I've done everything I've done to get me here. I'm not going to never take away from that. Gene told me after graduating today, he hopes to return to the program, but this time as a volunteer to share his story and hopefully inspire others. In Colorado Springs, I'm Maggie Bryan, News 5.